mother's kicking it on If they don't give me room, well then I'll give them the wall I'm gonna smoke my tires when the victory draws I'm gonna be there, be there I wanna see my face up on the jumbo screen Feel the white hot metal of a winning machine Because you win or you lose and there's no in between I wanna be there It is about time for the Target Series to go dirt racing here in season number 10 as we head to the Illinois State Fairground in Springfield, Illinois. This is the Federated Auto Parts Challenge. This one mile dirt oval produces fantastic racing. We saw it last season in the Target Series. Looking to see the same this season. The 0-2 of Jonathan Reigns, our points leader, is the pole sitter for today's race. Looking to extend that points lead with some laps and then maybe even a win here tonight. But two's outside starting a second, the 32 of Trey Rainey. Then third place is Jennifer Buford. Fourth place, Bronson Minnick. And we're out the top five, Cole Luigi in the 33 car. Then in sixth, it's Jay Rando. Seventh place, we have Mathis Wells. Eighth place, it's Riley Spurley Tube. In ninth place, we have Evan Hunter. And we're out the top ten, the 15 car of Jonathan Buford. For the rest of the field, there's Keegan Thompson outside of him, the 60 of Jack Marshall. Then we have Carson Bowers, the 25, with the 62 of Oliver Evans. Then there's Luke Rain, the 22, and the 17 of Freddie Soto. Then third in the points, Brett Sierra, and the 99 of Justin Zidell. Then Keyshawn Richardson, and second in points, Landon Lyons, with Alex Reynolds and Nonagan Scott in the 16, along with Andrew Bean and the 20 of Adam McDowell, with the 40 of Edwin Mendez and the 1 of Eli Bright. Then we have Anthony Hernandez in the 31, and the 5 of Jeff Bright, Jake Gowie the 18, and the 89 of Marshall Burrell. Then there's Zachary DeLello and Nathan Green, with Alex Fletcher and the 66 of Casey Nanico, with Tyler Fink and Danny Lloyd, Leanne Capana and Jack Canaramo, and in the final row, John Smith the 09, and the 6 of Sebastian Kukulam round off the 40 car field for dirt racing here in the Target Series. Let's get these engines fired up. Let's go on track side for the command. Driver! Forty cars fired up and rolling here. Springfield, Illinois, the Illinois State Fairground for racing in the Target Series on dirt. Last season was the first time we ever came here. We saw three caution flags, some battles for the lead, and a battle for the win at the end. Cars get the wall and all over the place on this racetrack. Hard to find grip. They're going to be sliding into the corners, sliding off the corners. It'll be interesting to see who can get it done here today. Thirty laps in Illinois. Reigns, the points leader, is the pole sitter. Chooses the inside. Trey Rainey to his outside. How does it go here today? To the green flag. We're racing in Illinois on the dirt. Jennifer Beaver wanted to deny Jonathan Reigns bonus points. They come off turn four to drag race to lead lap one of the race. Reigns on the outside gets it for five bonus points towards the championship. He really wanted that. Jennifer Beaver though will take it on lap two. She'll clear the 0-2 of Reigns. He gets the wall off turn two. So do others. Further back in the field, they're sideways. Able to control for now. We're still green. Reigns trying to get in line in second in front of Bronson Minnick. It was a bit to the inside of the 0 2. Beefford up the track in the race lead. The battle for second. Minnick looking on Reigns. The 12th beneath the 0 2. Two laps down. Jennifer Beefford leads that lap. Mathis Wells jumps inside of Colucci for fourth. And might be for third on Jonathan Reigns as well. Reigns struggling on the outside. Got the wall again. The second straight lap. Colucci could take advantage to get to the bottom. He got stuck behind the 0 2. Second straight lap, Reigns has gotten into the wall in turn two. It's not been a great set of corners in turns one and two, and it's really affecting Cole Luigi, who's stuck behind him as well. Luigi looking for a way around him to get out from behind him because Reigns has popped it once. He's popped it twice. He might pop it thrice right here in turn, one, in turn two. See Wells and Thompson fighting to the inside of Reigns. The O2 is sliding up again. He kept it out that, that time, but he was very close. Two cars break away out front, three wide behind them. Thompson, Wells, Luigi, Reigns under a blanket for those spots with here comes Hunter and Brett Sierra throwing the points. He wants to pass Reigns to gain some points on him. And now Reigns 
No real hole to the inside. Two cars are broken away. Jennifer Beaver is at every lap of the first here today. Braun Smick has been riding in second. Then they're about three and four wide behind them. Thompson for third. Cold Luigi as well. As around goes Trey Rainey. He'll get out of control but save it just like he did in Richmond earlier this season. He hit off Riley's bird to save his car. Look at the damage, but we're still green here in Illinois. An amazing save for Trey Rainey, just like he did at Richmond earlier in the season. He's kept his car one piece, but now he's going to get swallowed up four wide by Eli Bright. Four wide to the corner. Eli wisely backs out. These two have had history. Eli and Trey. Hunter hit by Seidel. Almost got spun there. It looked like he was going to at first. Up at the front, Reigns has gotten in line in front of the 62 of Oliver Evans. Reigns putting pressure on Thompson, and the 62 puts him up high. Sierra wants that 0 2 to fade back. So is the 10 of Landon Lines, who's further back in the field. Reigns still up inside the top five. It might change as he falls to sixth right there as Oliver Evans moves to his inside and by. Thompson in fourth. Got wide, didn't get off turn too well, and Oliver Evans will have a bid for that spot. Off into turn three, the pack still packed three wide behind the top 20. And they're getting crazy back there. Right around Luke Rainey is in the 22. Look at that, three wide. Bounce off McDowell, Jonathan Beeford, Nogan Scott back there, Trey Rainey's brother just in front, who just had an amazing save. See McDowell trying to dive underneath and thought better of it. Eli to the back of Evan Hunter now. 28 goes wide into the wall hard. He'll fade back. Trey Rain to the middle, split three wide. How about Brett Sear looking on Jonathan Reigns again as the 0-2 moves around. Mathis Wells for sixth. At the front, still Jennifer B for Bronson Nick, but here comes a hard charging Cole Luigi, who's just ran his fastest lap of the race last lap. He's closing on this 12. He's going to look for a pass in turn one. He is way faster than the 12 in front of him. Minnick needs to know that as well and not impede his progress. If he does... He might wreck himself trying to block that 33 off. The field a little bit more spread out. Luigi to the inside. Minnick, some contact made for a second. Luigi knows he needs to get by this 12 fast. That car might not be as fast for 10 more laps. He has to get there while he can. And Minnick not letting him by because he thinks maybe his car will come back in the longer run. Luigi dives underneath and maybe makes more contact with the 12. Obviously getting frustrated with Brunson Mick at this stage of the race. He'll get around that 12. Bound for fourth as Oliver Evans looks on Keegan Thompson. The 11 gets the wall. 62 looking low. Battle for fourth and fifth. Sixth place currently Jonathan Reigns. Brett Sierra fading back in the outside. Nowhere to go. Riley Spurgeon split to the middle. Randall slides up in the 47. And Sierra's way up almost in the cushion. They almost got out of the groove right there. Riley Spurge with three wide around Brett Sierra but has Jay Randall just inside looking for a spot. Nonagan Scott coming back for in the 16. I want to give a shout out to John Smith, who's currently inside the top 20 after battling up from 39th start position. Battled up inside the top 20 decently, is trying to get up inside the top 15. He finished third yesterday in the Eldora race in the Penzo Truck Series. Another dirt race. These drivers are still going three wide all over this racetrack. They're three out further back with Nongan Scott, Jay Rando, and Riley Spurley Tube. That's just in front of Luke Rain in the 22. That's a great battle right there for what looks to be 12th, 13th, 14th as Rando gives a bump to Riley, moves him up. And the 52 looks to get around to get to 12. Mathis Wells winds into the wall. Luke Rennie has to surrender behind him. And Jay Randall might gain some spots in the 52. Back to the front. Minnick is getting back around. Cole Luigi. And does Luigi make it as hard as Minnick did? Yeah, he is. He's saying, all right, you can play this game. You did it to me, I'll do it to you. He's saying, you may have the faster car right now. That doesn't matter to me. I had the faster car about five laps going. He didn't let me buy. Luigi's kind of hunted down B for a little right there. She has not gotten away. Reigns and Fitz just popped the one. Here comes Keegan Thompson back for a top five. So the 11 moving back forward. Edwin Mendez stationary inside the top 10 for now. Eli Bright as well moves up. Zidell falls back. Rando inside the top 10. Luke Rainey back to 11th. Now again, Scott to 12th. How about that? Mathis Wells fading. Brett Sierra still fading on the outside. Almost three wide as John Smith looked to his inside. We had one car on pit road. Couldn't quite tell who that was. Bow for second. It's Danny Lloyd that was on pit road. So that's a driver who's looking to make the chase. Issues for the 38. Going to hurt him in the points. It's going to be a bad point stand for the 38. So far, not a bad point stand for Jennifer Buford. He's led all but the first lap here today. Looking to dominate. 
just like Brandon Beal did yesterday. Beal led every single lap at Eldora en route to victory, but Kolo did not gonna let Beaford get away. He's looking to try and get up here and win in the Target Series Season 10, right to the back of the 88 now. He's there. Beaford did not get off turn too well. She dropped back to the front of the 33. Now Code gonna look for a way around. He goes a little wider, looking for maybe a better arc off the corner. He has a run. Got the power down. Look into the inside. Cole Luigi for Jeffrey Beaver for the lead. To the inside. Halfway. In the Ferry Offers Challenge. Cole Luigi is by. New race leader. A minute now for a second. Buford popped the wall. Bronson Mick for a second on Buford. Oliver Evans closes in the 62. Evans slides up. Got a little tight. Buford might clear for third. But has lost ground to Cole Luigi's pulled away. 14 laps to go in Illinois. Here comes Oliver Evans. Going to look to dive to the bottom of the 88. Oliver Evans trying to take that spot away. That would be for third. Buford could fall back to fourth after dominating the first 14 laps of this race. Pack definitely spread out this stage of the race to where we might not get an accident, might not get a yellow flag, so these drivers know every spot they get can help them out. Lloyd getting service done, so whatever the issue is, they may have figured it out, and that'd be, they might have fixed it, and they might be getting the tires on. Jennifer down in line in fourth, but has lost three spots and tons of ground to Cole Luigi. She has lost a second and a half to that 33. Is it recoverable in 12 laps? We're coming to 12 to go at the start-finish line. Buford back for third on Oliver Evans, so she's going to force that 62 aside. She'll move to third easily off turn four. She can move up if she wants. She's clear that 62. And that's brought Keegan Thompson into this battle for fourth. Thompson to the inside of Oliver Evans for P4. And inside Buford for third. Jeffrey messed up, washed up through turn two, and Keegan Thompson saw that opening. Takes it. Saw the dent in the armor and decided to go for it. 11 to go to the start-finish line. Oliver Evans sliding up almost into Jeffrey Beaford. Forces her wider than she wanted to be. And that's going to give Keegan Thompson third spot right here. That, that made you, Jennifer run wider than she wanted to. That really hurt her exit speed. Can she keep fourth off Oliver Evans right here? She slid wide again. She's really wide. Into the wall. Again for the 88. Edwin Mendez to her back bumper. Oliver Evans still beneath. Didn't really gain much on that 80 after she hit the wall. I think that's got to be making that car a little bit tighter. 10 laps to go for Koluigi here in Springfield, Illinois in the Federated All Parts Challenge. A great battle up for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Oliver Evans will take fourth. Buford trying to keep fifth off Edwin Mendez, but Jeffrey will fall back to sixth as she's fading fast. Jeffrey back to sixth. Here comes Nogan Scott for a spot. Scott for P6. That's big for points. It's a driver looking to make the chase. Oliver Evans slides up with Jeffrey. Buford also sliding up behind him. Mendez moves through to fourth. Evans back to fifth. And here comes Nogan Scott for both spots. Jennifer still fading on the outside. She's looking to fall back to seventh now as Nogan Scott moves low. And Jonathan Rain start on pole at the first lap. Fell back. Our points are looking to extend that points. He's ahead of Landon Lyons and Brett Sierra both. Rain's currently in eighth. His next highest points contender. Don't even see them. Look at this. How far back second and third points are. Lines is currently in 29th. Sierra is back outside the top 30. Those two not going to have a great day. So Luigi still leads with eight to go. His gap to bronze make about eight tenths of a second. Minnick right now in second. Has to be running a lot of momentum. Just picked up his first ever Gatorade Cup Series win in the Pepsi 600. But he just nailed the wall right there. And here comes Keegan Thompson with a run for P2. Now those drivers about a second back now. Noggin Scott for fifth on Oliver Evans. Buford in line by range. Back to eighth for the 88 driver. And Noggin Scott to the top five. What a great point state this could be for that 16 driver. Seven to go. Can he hold on? And this could be amazing for Noggin Scott. This could turn his season around. Put him into the chase. Great point today so far for Nonigan. Good point today for Edward Mendes as well. Two wins. Looking to make that top 20 for a wild card spot. A top five today would be huge for that 40 driver. And Oliver Evans looking back on Nonigan Scott. So not giving that spot up quite yet. I think he's going to have to right there. Those 16 got a great three and four. Closed, oh, 
closed down the 40 and pulled away from the 62 little. Four seconds, six to go. Keegan Thompson thinks he can catch Bron Simonic. Thinks he can catch Cole Luigi. And we have Mathis Wells coming off pit road in the A7. He's falling laps down. He'll now be a barrier between the 33 and the 11. Right there, it's gonna force Thompson high. Now Thompson gonna need to clear right here off turn four. Wells gonna let the 11 have it so that he can try and go run down that 33. Five laps to go here in Illinois. Any yellow flag would end the race short. Thompson looking to close in second. Minnick right now might give up third. He's looking at Noggin Scott. Scott the fourth by Mendez. And might get thrown off front to make the 12s in the wall. Nonagan Scott carving a path through this field. And Thompson closing a bit on Cole Luigi. Four to go. Scott to P3. On the podium right now. Three. Four to go. P3 for Nonagan Scott. Jeffrey Beaver moved by John Threings for seventh. Trying to make up any ground she can after dominating the first half of this race. Eli Brent to the wall and McDowell will get ninth, but Eli fights back on the top. Maybe didn't get too bad. So Reigns back to eighth now, falls in line by the 88. He's ran there pretty much all race long. At the front of the field, three laps to go for Cole, which is gap back to the left in about eight tenths of a second. Three to go in the Ferry All Parts Challenge. Seven tenths now for the 11 to catch the 33. Three laps to do that. This could be challenging, but that 33 makes some mistakes. Thompson can definitely get there. Wells looking like he's going to pull out of the way of Noggin. Scott, the lead lap car, because Scott has been flying. I don't think Matthew, well, Matthew Wells wants to get his way and make a bad day worse for the A7. Maybe he'll fight him, though. I think Scott will get him right here in one and two. He's going to have a shot at Thompson as well. Two to go. Three tenths of a second. Thompson back to the back bumper of Cole Luigi. He's looking. Is he there? Thompson to the inside. Looking to break Cole Luigi's heart. And further back, these two side by side. Nuggets Scott's come with a run. Thompson Luigi side by side through turn three. Thompson will clear the 33. A pass with two to go. And now here's the white flag. Now Luigi back with a run. Does he take a crossover a dive bomb into turn one? How about Nuggets Scott? What does he do? Luigi and Scott trying to get to Thompson. The 11 slides a little wide. He'll hang tough for now off turn two. Still out front. Scott for second on Luigi. Thompson trying to pull away. Can Scott get there? Three and four. Scott slides up. Wells forced him up. Thompson trying to clear the 16. Scott's trying to get there. Back to the checker flag. The winner will be Keegan Thompson. A last lap effort. He wins in Illinois. What about the end? And how about Nonigan Scott flying at the end? Thompson wins over Nonigan Scott, Cole Luigi, but Scott gave it a show at the end. What an effort out of the 16 and heartbreak for Cole Luigi. Once again, close to a target series victory in his final season. He'll sell for third here today. Well, the two dominators faded, didn't win the race. The one who led two laps won it, Keegan Thompson, victor in the Federated all Perch Challenge. Let's go see the finishing results in the point standings. Here are the finishing results from the Federated all Perch Challenge at Illinois. No caution flags today, but three lead changes, four drivers leading laps, and the one who wins the race was Keegan Thompson. He only had to lead the final two laps to do it. He wins here today. Nonagan Scott ends up in second. The driver of the 16 made it a show at the end. Almost got to Thompson in turns three and four. He ends up in second with a great points day. Cold Luigi, heartbreak central for the 33 driver. He ends up in third, leading 13 laps. Got passed, coming to the white flag. If maybe he could have hold on, could have been his final ever target series victory. He still has more races to try and get that done, though. Fourth place, Edwin Mendez. Fifth place, Oliver Evans. Jonathan Reigns from pole, light a lap. He gets sixth. That's great for the O2 driver. Seventh place, Alex Fletcher. Eli Bright, eighth. Jay Rendo, ninth. And Justin Zidell rounds at the top 10 the 99. With the top 10, Reigns does move up and ahead in the points as he's opened the gap over Landon Lyons and Brett Sierra. 11th place to Riley Sproul, 2 12th to Freddie Soto, Marshall Burrow 13th, Jonathan Beaver 14th, and Zerka DeLello 15th. Then Trey Rennie in 16th, Jake Galloway 17th, Kukulon 18th, Nanako 19th, and John Smith runs at the top 20 in the 09. 
21st place to Alex Reynolds, there's Lyon. Second in points, 22nd. 23rd place, Jack Canaramo. 24th, Evan Hunter. And 25th, Leanne Capana. Jack Marshall, 26th. Chris Scheinrich in 27th. Nathan Green, 28th. Jeff Bright, 29th. Brett Sierra, 30th. He came in third in the points standings. Tyler Fink, 31st. 32nd, Andrew Bean. 33rd, Anthony Ness. 34th, Adam McDowell. 35th, Bronson Minnick. Jennifer Buford, Luke Randy Carson Barras all finished one lap down. They had some issues there at the end, maybe some tire rubs or cut tires. Buford, the heartbreak there, led the 14 of the first 15 laps. She ends up finishing 36 lap down. And then Danny Lloyd, Mathis Wells both finished multiple laps down. Lloyd, four laps down. Mathis Wells, five laps down due to issues on their race cars. Let's now go see the points innings after Illinois. 20 races in, three races left to make it into the chase. Here are how the points are. Jonathan Reigns, the 0-2 on top. 111 up on Landon Lyons, who is second. Those two pretty safe to make it into the chase currently. Third in points, still Brett Sierra, but he only has a 17-point advantage over Jonathan Buford, who moves up to fourth, and Nathan Green is currently in fifth. Sixth place is Jay Randall, seventh place Marshall Burrell. In eighth, we have Mathis Wells, Alex Fletcher is ninth, and John Smith, the 9 rounding out the top ten. So Smith currently in by one point over Nagan Scott. That impressive second place result moves him up to 11th in points, one point out. Danny Lloyd's three points out in 12th. So those drivers from Fletcher down to Lloyd, nine points separates 9th through 12th in the point standings. Going to be intense. Excuse me, seven points separate them. Seven single points separate those drivers in points. That's 9th through 12th in points. So 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th clustered together under one little blanket, one little umbrella, one little mistake could change that whole thing. So as we mentioned, Scott Lloyd currently 11th and 12th. Andrew Bean is 13th. Evan Hunter is 14th. And Keegan Thompson, that went up to 15th and into wildcard contention. Bronson Mick is now 16th. Alex Reynolds, 17th. Jack Kenaramo, 18th. Freddie Soto, 19th. And Anthony Nettis rounds up the top 20. Two wildcard spots go to Evan Hunter and Keegan Thompson. Hunter currently 14th in points. Thompson is 15th. However, they have some company coming in the, in the forms of Freddie Soto. But don't look now, because Riley Spurgeon and Edwin Mendez are closing in on the top 20 in the points with two victories each. Currently, just outside the top 20, DeLello and Coluigi, both without victories. 21st, 22nd, that win for Luigi would have been big, but he falls back to finish third. Jeff Wright McDowell, both looking for another victory. 23rd, 24th, Luke Rainey, Trey Rainey, 25th, 26th. Then there's Mendez and Sproul, to 27th, 28th, two victories a pop, but they need to be top 20 in points to use them for a wildcard spot. Kukulon a win in 29th, Fink in 33rd is a win, Jennifer Buford down to 34th with her victory, Eli Bright 36th with his victory down at the bottom of the points, Jake Galway and Keyshawn Richardson in the 29 car. Been an eventful first 20 races in these last three, going to be the most important for some driver's seasons to determine who makes the chase and who doesn't. Race number 21, we go to Iowa for the Ally 300. Going to be an incredible one there for sure. I will see you guys then.